you're in Josh. Where do you think this is heading? I don't know. We're having fun. That's enough for me right now. Have we got a future or not? Why do we have to talk about the future? Why can't we just enjoy what we have right here, right now? Because the future's going to happen whether we think about it or not. I'm back. <clears throat> what about it? You here, babe? You're back. Yeah, I just got here. Where were you? I was at the bank. I saw you arrive. Did you leave the place open? Roy Mutter was here, but she must have nipped out. She knew I wasn't going to be along. Yeah, good point. How were the kids? Were they behaved? Awesome. Uh, Roy Mutter mentioned she wanted to go to the beach. You should go join her. She can't have gone far. Oh, maybe we're not taking these in. I can do that. Oh, good point. There you are. Yeah, I thought I'd have a go at tidying up Dad's files. Then you could be at the beach. I know, big mistake. Yeah. Organisation's over there. It's greatest strength, is it? Hey, you can say that again. Tell you what, though, the kids love them. I was definitely second best. Hey, let's get out of here. The beach sounds good. Oh, call one of the pubs. How's it better? Okay. You okay, Bob? She's okay. See ya. Before I forget, here is my New Zealand practice certificate. I still can't quite believe you're doing this. It's like my fairy godmother just flew in and waved her magic wand. <laughs> hey, I am happy to help. Why? It's not like you owe me any favours. If anything, it's the other way around. How do you figure that out? Well, how many nights did I spend on your couch in New York? Three. Hey, I thought it was rude you didn't stay longer. <laughs> the record was three months. The uh, cousin of a boyfriend of someone I went to school with. How to make yourself popular with Kiwis is get an apartment in New York. <laughs> do you still have it? Yeah, it's sublet. How long for? Uh, it's flexible. So you're really serious about getting out? I really think I might be. You're gonna miss it like crazy, you know that, don't you? Yeah, you might be right. <clears throat> do they do bagels here? Um, yes. Not to your standard, but I know a place that does them. Proper boiled ones with terrible coffee, too. Now you're talking. I'll take you there tomorrow. Great. Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about all this. Yeah, you will be if you get caught. I hope you realise how close that was. Yeah. Not good for the nerves, eh? Look, I hate all this creeping around. I'm over it. I know what you mean. You know, first you start wondering, is it really worth all the bother? And then you start thinking about all the hurt you could cause. For what? A bit of fun. It's more than that. If you say so. What does Roma to say? You should really ask her that, not me. What are you doing back? Where is he? At the pub with a glass in his hand. I told him I'd forgotten something. We've got ten minutes to talk. I think we need to. Big time. I don't know about you, Josh, but I can't do this anymore. Me neither. See, that's what I've been trying to tell you. Thanks. I only just got him down. He's his mother. She's taking a nap too. Should have known. Well, I think she had a hard day at work. She wouldn't know what hard work is. She was only there a few hours. You have to remember she's depressed. Everything is an effort. Yeah, for someone else, if she can get away with it. Sorry, we didn't wake you, did we? I told Murray the TV was too no, loud. No, it's okay. I have dry mouth and need water. You stay where you are. She is not helpless. While you're there, you can start dinner. Or clean something. What did you say? I can't hear you. You're not articulating clearly. Nothing. Where's Luca? Sleeping in our room. Pop in and take a look at him. Mm, I'm sure he's fine. You're taking such good care of him. Somebody has to. I enjoy it. That's not the point. You are running yourself ragged for somebody else's kid. I don't mind. How are you going to cope when you go back on night shifts? With a lot of help from my very understanding husband. We've brought up three kids so far without falling to pieces. I'm sure we can cope with another one for a little while. Don't you? You have to go back to Fendale now. Wait, what? You might enjoy hiding under this, but I no, don't. No, I don't. I hate it. Good, because I can't go through that again. I can't. So I'll be more careful. No! Well, there is another alternative. What? We tell TK. We tell him everything. I can't do that. Look, we'll tell him together. I'll be right no, there. No, no, I can't. What well, are you ever going to be able to tell him? Not if you keep pressuring me. OK. I'm sorry. Hey, look. TK is my problem, not yours. 
I need to deal with him in my way, in my time, okay? Can you please let me do that? This doesn't seem right. What do you suggest we do, Josh? What, should we go down the pub and spill our guts over a few friendly beers? Yeah, I said, okay. Thank you. I hope you know what this is doing to me. I have to get back there. grumpy little baby who cried his eyes out all night, eh? Hey, I know. I know you didn't mean to keep me up. Teething's not much fun, is it? For either of us. But you know what? You don't have to worry about me because I'm going to be just fine after I've had a cup of tea. Ah, if I can find a clean cup, who do you think made this mess? Look at it. Evan! Jazz! <sighs> Looks like it's just you and me, Luca. <gasps> I tell you what, you wash and I'll dry after I've had my cup of tea. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> Look at that. You're not going to grow up to be a lazy, messy teenager, are you? No. Morning, everyone. Gather round for a moment, please. Hi. Hi. Are you? Good, thank you. Look, about the other night, I'm sorry I was so rude. You didn't deserve that. I don't know about that, but thanks anyway. Well, I was thinking maybe we could do it again. I mean, just a drink or a movie if we're really brave. Shh. It gives me great pleasure to introduce my friend and colleague, Harper Whitley. Hi. Harper is one of the youngest ED consultants this country has ever produced, and she was also, annoyingly, one of the best. Welcome to the team. Thanks. I'm um, really looking forward to it. OK, back to work. What do we got? Uh, cubicle 2, Mel Perkins, laceration to her arm, fell through a sliding glass door. Ah, oh, that old classic. Mm. And cubicle 1, uh, abdominal pain, possible pancreatitis. OK, yours, I think. I'll take Mel. Sarah, I know what you're doing, and you don't have to. Sorry? Look, we have sliding glass doors in New York, too. Lots of them. Don't think you have to give me all the interesting cases. I'm here to muck in, like everyone else. Oh, good, Jazz. I need you to give me a hip. Sorry, what was that? No. You're kidding. No, I don't believe it. Jazz. Oh, hold on. Mum wants me. Who are you talking to? Dana. You just saw her. She forgot to tell me something. Well, she can tell you later. Dishes. Uh, they're not mine. Well, they're not mine either, and Luke is not my baby, but I'm going to be looking after him all afternoon, aren't I? OK, OK, I'll do them. Sorry, that was just Mum freaking out about dishes. Now, please, I want to get an early start on dinner. Keep talking. I'm listening. Oh! No! She did it! With everyone looking. You know what? It'd be easier if I do them myself. Be a martyr, then. Say that bit again. <laughs> now, this is Jared. He's going to take you down to X-ray to check there's no glass in that wound. Mel, are you okay? Mel, talk to me. I'm fine. I'm not so sure about that. What were you doing before the accident? I told you I had some music on. I was just dancing around being a dick. Did you take drugs? Mel? No. You're not going to get in any trouble, but it would help if I know what you've taken. Mel. Don't touch me! Take a security officer with you. No, I can handle her. Yeah, but someone's going to need to stay with her at X-ray. Oh, yeah, of course. I get security onto it. Mm -hmm. All right, Tony, I'll sort that prescription out later. <laughs> get the fight. <laughs> hey, Kunda. I took the lab. That was right. It's just a surmises. <laughs> Have they both got it? Yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't be smiling at that. No, not really. That's a good thing. At least I'll know. It's one less thing for them to stress about. And once it's treated, if they get their act together, they won't get that baby they've always wanted. You know, you could have told her this afternoon. Yeah, I know. I didn't want them to worry any more than they had. What's the matter? Nothing silly. Yeah. Sometimes I forget what an amazing man you are. What? I said sometimes, oh, you should. <laughs> yes, well. No, you are. You're an 
amazing doctor. Mm. A lovely man. Mm. And that makes me a very lucky woman. I don't know that. Well, you're pretty amazing yourself. Hey, did you mean what you said about moving here? You know I did. <laughs> I think Queenie will give me hell for it. <laughs> she had it her way over here in the clinic in my mind. Well, that's another option. <laughs> I couldn't do it to you. <laughs> my family watching me 24-7, is that what you want? <laughs> well, but you come here, Nathai territory. That's a brave man. I love this place. Fine. You know, it's funny. I spent most of my life trying to get away from here, but... Now that I'm here with you, it's different. Hey, I think we're different, eh? So there's more hours in the day somehow. Probably because we're not spending one of them in traffic. <laughs> <laughs> so you really, really to give up those big city dreams of yours? Well... I miss the opera, of course. <laughs> and all those darling little fashion shows. <laughs> she wants straight? You kidding me? What about the house? You love that place? Yeah, I love that place. We can find another place to love. Yeah, the beach if we're lucky. Do you really want to? I really want to. Don't do that. Sit up. Yeah, yeah. Someone might see. Who cares? Uh, your mother. Let's go away. Just us. Well, like, go somewhere overnight? Mm hmm Like a motel or something? Yeah, why not? I thought we agreed that we weren't going to go there just yet. Oh, we don't have to do anything. We can just be how we are now. You and me, alone in a motel. What are the chances? OK, forget it. I was just trying to see where we're at. You've got too much time on your hands. Anyway, come on, let's go get a coffee. I told you I had to wait for a patient. I had to take her back to ED. Well, and it has to be you. No one else is up for it. Oh, because you're so important. You're right, you're so important. You can't even take a break. I get a break when I'm finished here. What's she like? Hey? You said her. What are you like? She's a patient. I'm not going to hit on her if that's what you're worried about. Oh, not you again. Thanks. I'm just going to take you back to ED, OK, Mel? What are you staring at? Have you seen her eyes? They're like dinner plates. Hey, keep that stuff to yourself, OK? I'll text you later. So you're going to tell me what you took? Why should I? So I know not to take the same stuff. What was it? Ecstasy. Yeah? What did it look like? It was white with something stamped on it. It looked like tea. Oh, man. What? You got a furry. A what? Do your teeth feel a furry? Yeah. Yeah, there you go. And don't kid yourself, it was E. Half of it was probably bath salts. How do you know so much about it? Because I used to hang around the losers who sold this rubbish. Stick around. It's only going to get more messed up. I've never seen him do that before, except for our wedding day. He told me he knew something was up for ages. He thought I was sick and wasn't telling him. Uh, he went for a little walk by himself, came back and said he doesn't want to lose me. And we can start again. Oh, baby. Yeah. 
Why'd you decide to tell me? Honestly? I looked at you with Josh and I realized I don't want to be that stupid. I'm sorry, but you did ask. You'll be happy to know me and Josh forever. Really? Yeah. I know who I want to be with. Yeah. Man, I'm married. <laughs> Mm, the future dad to my kids. The fellow came back from lunch with a bunch of real estate brochures and told me to start looking. Are you really going to do it? Or are you really going to move back here? <laughs> yeah. Please, but... I know, it sounds a bit nuts, but it feels right. We could be mums together. I know. Hey, we could start our own little coffee group. <laughs> <laughs> what about Josh Woozy? Well, he's still back at the motel. He'll be waiting for me to call. You haven't told him yet. Not yet. Take it, FBI! <laughs> what happened? This fella crashed into me, so I was too close. I just come straight here. Hey, bud, I'm a nurse. Tell me where. Get them inside! Turn on! Turn on! Call an ambulance. Bath salts. Street drugs. Real badass. Not the stuff you put in the bath. Yeah, I'm aware of that, Jared. Thanks. I don't know what they really put in it, but I've seen what it does to people. Do you think demons yet? Demons, monsters, ghosts, other assorted boogeymen. It's a standard weekend shift in a New York ER. Every Saturday night, it's Halloween. What sedation should we give her? Uh, 0.5 IV lorazepam, a litre of saline, then we watch and wait. Bath salts, is it a big problem here? There's enough of it out there to cause some damage. It's a controlled drug, but that doesn't mean it's hard to get. Mm. You're very well informed. Yeah. Nice work, by the way. Yeah, all done. I hope you kids did your best. I tried. She wouldn't let me. Mm, sounds right. And I've still got a couple of hours left to spare before I have to be at work. Time to get some rest. I will grab 40 wanks after dinner. What are we having? Oh, there's a uh, casserole in the oven. It should be ready soon. I can't smell it. No, no, no! What's wrong? Did you forget to turn the oven on? Oh, how could I be so stupid? It's OK. We won't go hungry. We'll eat a bit later, that's all. It won't be till hours later, and you'll be eating without me because I'll be at work half asleep and starving. What are you looking for? What do you think? Something else to eat. It's lucky I went to the supermarket today because I wasn't planning to. Oh, no, you don't. Bed now. But I... I will wake you in time for work. Dinner will be on the table. Jamie and Nigella will see to that. Come on. Even Wonder Woman puts her feet up occasionally. You're keeping her in? Yeah, just down to short stay overnight. In New York, she'll be back on the streets by now. Oh, well, we'll see how she is after she's slept it off. Her mother is on the way in, and that should be interesting. Oh, she doesn't know her little darling is doing drugs. Get this. She gave them to her. Did Mel tell you that? Mm-hmm. Jared got it out of her on the way back from radiology, unless that's the drugs talking and Mel's mum's just another boogeyman. Is Jared that good with all the patients? I have no idea. That is the first time I've heard him say more than five words. Oh, not like his style. Tell him. I'm sure he'd like to hear it. Samoan, yeah? No, Tongan. He, uh, he lives with Vasa, one of the nurses here. It's a really long, sad story, but she's pretty much his stepmom. You'll get to meet her if you stick around long enough, and I hope you will. What, meet Jared's stepmom? No, stick around. Because <laughs> just between you and me, this place could really use you full time. I mean, I'm not knocking TK. He is really good at his job. Mm, I wondered how I... long it would be till I'd hear that name. You did well. Last time I saw you, he was the ex you couldn't stop talking about. Well, you will be pleased to hear that I have moved on. Ah. Uh -huh. We work together really well. He's on leave at the moment. It's a shame that I won't get to meet him. Well, you will if you stay on next week. But if TK's back, then there won't be a job for me. I'm sure I can make a case to Rachel. I'll tell her that we're in danger of losing you to St Cass. That should do it. One more week. Two. And then we'll talk again. You got yourself a deal. 
How far away is the chopper? 20 minutes. OK, get me a large combine and a bandage for Wayne. Yeah. OK, put up a litre of salmon and run it slowly. And check his blood pressure again. Sure. OK, is left pupils blow and who needs intubating? Oh, no, don't do that. Just leave it. OK, he's got an arterial bleed. Put it on a tourniquet. Got it. OK, babe. Oh, don't freak out. Just hold his arm up straight. That's it. You know what would be good now is your dad walking through that door saying he decides to come back early. Yeah, well, he's not going to. The <laughs> doctor would do. Right now, I am not fussed if we can't do this on our own. Is there anyone else that can help? A nurse? I'm sorry. Please. Can you give me a cell phone? What's going on? I'm getting your doctor. Hey, I think he likes you. <laughs> That's because he thinks you're still going to feed him. Oh, well, that's right, mate. I was going to get you a bottle, wasn't I? Don't worry. He'll let you know when he's really hungry. What do I do with that? Uh, Jasmine, can you have a look around? I am for... way ahead of you. I've checked. It is just the right temperature. Oh, I could have done that. Don't get so defensive. You sound like Mum. Here you go. How's that? That's the story. Hello. Hmm. Who's this strange lady, then? Have you seen her before <clears throat> somewhere? Not for a while, you haven't. You're early. Do you hurry home for some extra time with your baby? Oh, uh, he doesn't need me. He looks very happy where he is. He does, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> we need to tube him. Where's this miracle doctor you promised me? Where do you want me? TK? You stay there. Give him two litres of saline. You assist me. Head injury. We need to tube him. OK. What do you want me? The secret is out. Without calling in Josh, we would have lost one of those boys. Lucky he was close by. Shortland Street, tomorrow, 7 o'clock, TV2.